Hey everybody, it's Greg. It's another edition of Unbreakable, the podcast. It is Tuesday, January the 30th, by the Rona Rona Club. And just thinking with the children, there's all I'm saying that I got to see them. We're here in Pennsylvania. We have a bunch. Our snow is there. It's always been burning the day. So, you know, when I am the woods, and when I look at it, it's a thing in February. It's a short month. Blah, 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 get the knowledge. Got to be stood out. Take that savings time. And spring is ready now. Great. Right. There you go. All right, a couple things to talk about today. Uh, did you hear about this on the real news? Japan. Japan. The, the newest craze in Japan is uh, pig cafes. Pig cafes. There's about 10 pig cat babies that have sprung up all through Japan, mostly in Tokyo. Now, let me tell you what these are. Pig cat babies, you go in, it's sort of like a Starbucks, but you go in and you pay 15 bucks. They have a live pig there. And you pay 15 bucks to have your picture taken with the pig. Now, what you could do, you they encourage you, hug the pig, I don't know if you want to kiss the pig or not, but you can hug the pig, you can put your arm around the pig, whatever you want to do. I don't know what people do with pigs, but you go, you pay $15, and you take a picture with the pig. I guess they have different pigs at every pig cat that I'm thinking maybe they have like uh, Arnold the pig from the Green Acres. Of course, Arnold would be like 60 something years old by now. I can imagine Arnold with these uh, wrinkles. Things. But you could always, they could always say, it is Arnold, but it's not Arnold. How are you going to know? Right? I mean, if you see one pig, you see them all. So if, if maybe it is Arnold, maybe it's not. But anyway, uh, so you could pay $15 to get your picture, picture to me. What I'm thinking is these cafes, there's no way they would have a BLT sandwich. Yeah, that had nothing to do with bacon. No ham sandwiches, no ham and cheese. Just, you can't get anything like that at these cafes. So, so, and you know, sooner or later that's coming in America. You know it, not maybe not pigs. But maybe later in the, in the States, we could have like a uh, chip, chip pansy, uh, cafe, chip, chip cafe. And you get a monkey and chip and you put them in every Starbucks. And when you go in, you get your coffee, you get your latte and you have your picture taken with bubbles chipped in. They, yeah. With the, did anybody ever find out these bubbles, you know, like the Jackson door chip and pig is in Tardale, is he still living? I mean, bubbles could make uh, guest appearances at Starbucks. Have your picture taken with bubbles along with your not to. Anyway, so, or chicken cafes, have to, whatever. You can just, it could go on. Did you see on the news? Since we're just talking immediately, they may have failed Amelia Earhart's airplane. Did you see that? That's fascinating. You know, 87 years ago, Amelia Earhart disappeared with her navigator, Fred Newton. They were trying to do a world record of flying around the world. But this is 1937 now. And they got lost. Somewhere out in the Pacific, they were supposed to land on an island called Howland, Howland Island, and they never landed. So 87 years, the Navy, all kinds of people have been looking for the Mary Earhart and this guy, and they can never find her. Well, back in 2018, there was a report that some guy claimed he had proof that on this uh, nearby island, you know, there's all kinds of islands in the Pacific uh, called Arner Island. He found so-called proof 
that uh, that's where Anil and her heart crashed and played. And uh, in fact, they found bones there that were reportedly rehearsed. But you never heard about whether those bones were tested. You know, nowadays you could test them to DNA to find out if that was really her. You never heard about that. So I'm thinking maybe it's not. But you know, it's suspicious because everybody's thinking, well, did Amelia Hart, how did she die? Right? I mean, she just vanished. But there are reports that after she went missing, and this was a big thing back then, people were really tuned into her theory. And when she did get to her destination, this was big news. So when the Navy did find her, apparently after the date she was missing, some people in the States all around the world heard radio signals, radio calls. And uh, Iowa, Canada, Texas, all these people reported that they heard messages from Amelia Earhart. They picked them up on their short, shortwave radios. And, uh, you know, like Earhart crashed the plane and she said, that it will take you to, in water. We're not going to be able to survive much longer. Please send help. Well, you know, now this guy um, he, uh, cashed in you know, like eleven million dollars in real estate and stuff. This is like his uh, journey, his uh, journey to find Amelia Earhart and her plane. So he rented not only did he rent a, a drone, an underwater drone, the most powerful underwater drone that we have. In but also airplanes that flew uh, down in the cover the 52,000 square miles of ocean in the Pacific. And they claim they found the plane. But they, the radar, the drones picked up the image at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, about 100 miles away from Howland Island, where they were supposed to be. Well, uh, there's this image of a plane laying flat, you know, not turned over, but laying as it is on the on better nation. Isn't that fascinating? But uh, because they were turning back when they found this plane, they weren't able to um, really uh, verify. They're, they're planning on going back soon and verifying. Maybe they're going to send a submarine down. I don't know how to read it. But they need to verify that that is the plan 87 years old. Interesting. And what this guy, his name is Tony Romico. Not Tony Romico, like the football player. Tony Romico says what his, what he wants to do is if it is the meal you put a hunt, right? He wants to figure out a way to bring it up out of the ocean and take it to the Smithsonian Institute. Because his thing is, I think people would rather visit the planet at the Smithsonian rather than uh, have it down in the floor of the ocean. Of course, this guy, let's go, he's got to make a lot of money and he's. He's going to be large, famous films. So, uh, wouldn't that be interesting with that if they found a film? So, I don't know. Maybe that would uh, have some clues as to why the plane crashed, how it crashed. You know, uh, I don't know. It's just fascinating. It's like a tree said, it's like a treasure hunt, you know? Now, all these years, people looking for this plane, they were never able to find it. Now we have the modern technology, the drones and the underwater room to do stuff. Like so we'll see if they find it, right? I think they're going back to see, you know, have a date. But uh, we'll see. It's something to keep in mind, right? It's fascinating. Uh, before I go to, I got to tell you, 
I went to the dentist and she gave me, as I told you, gave me a stomach medicine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a, what a regular, huh? Huh? Usually when I go and get my teeth clean, it's not a bad deal. It's maybe less than an hour. Chair, you know, they give me the floss and toothpaste and everything they came home. And uh, the cavities, you go, goodbye. We'll schedule you four months from now. It's cool. Eh, 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 eh. Not this time. It's new concepts. How do we do it? The most of the single train that they need to share. Look at the history. And uh, she was born in the same city. Why? She was the thing. Remember the remember the movie Sinko? And uh, Slasher goes into the shower. That's that's jail thing. So that's what it's dead, 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 dead. Right on my go. God I need to go, we do. But I I look God too. And my nipple and so started curve my pelvis. Thank you very much. Thank you. I look the screen to things. You know, every, every episode, somehow, suddenly, the screen takes the screenshot. But that's not a shot for the number of this episode. You know, it, sometimes it's me going, sometimes it's me, sometimes it's me. Sometimes we, you never know what shot they're going to take during the episode. And that is like your, you know, being your headshot for the whole episode right there. We're all the way to say, well, you know. So this lady is picking, pick, 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 pick. And I'm in the chair, and I'm dying, and I'm like sending some liminal telegraphy, telepathy messages to Katie London. And I want Katie, help me, help me, help me. And she's answering me, Dad, Dad, what have you got? Something new. And we're going back and forth. And of course, they got the TV on the scene for the days. Did you ever notice that? So you're there, you could be there watching the home network. I mean, I guess that's all they ever have on. The home network where they're uh, refurbishing houses all day. That's torture in itself. Anyway. So she's doing the thing and doing the thing, and she's cleaning my teeth, and that's all fun. And then she comes up to one thing there, and she's, she said, I'm sure this thing is really tough. And she's going for, and I'm thinking, you know, you're trying, you can't talk because you got stuff in your mouth. I must have took, I must have taken in like a gallon of water next to that. You know how when they scrape your teeth, they have their water thing? Going at the same time. Well, uh, usually it's not a big deal. They let this thing out, blah, 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 blah. Suction the end. Well, yesterday I swore. I felt like Moby Dick. I was just, you know. Uh, anyway, so what happens is this. at the end of this torture, she said, uh, well, we can make your next appointment four months from now. And you don't think I'm going to that guy. I don't want to tell him, no, you sucked. I'd rather have another hygienist, right? So I said, uh, well, yeah, well, I guess I... No, at first I said, you know what? I'll make the appointment up at the front desk because uh, I probably have to go up there and fill them. No, but I'll go to the front desk, I'll pick the equipment, I'm explaining I'm going to get the equipment with the other hinds. That is terrible why I'm whispering. Nobody's here. Uh, but she said, no, no, it's no problem. I can do it right here. And I'm thinking, you're a totally good audience. So I said, okay, pick the equipment, pick the day I'm going to get the So she booked it. Or uh, maybe it's one of the 
So I said, okay, fine. Just like, see you next time. He said, okay, Julie. So I said, off the tour. So I got her bank. He called the stories. And he said, listen, I was asleep. But when I got her, I, I told her a little why. You know, I had my fingerprints. I said, you see, I got home and I looked at my calendar and went, whoa, wait a minute, 828, I got stuff to do that day. Like, I got it. I, I don't know. I got I, 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 I to change my underwear. I don't know what I, I I'm just thinking of the excuse. So I'm saying, well, you know, I can't call the call. And the girl on the third says, well, she has the 27th, I can do it. And I'm like, is that the same jewel in the hygienist that you're talking about? Yes. So, no, 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 no. I said that, not to the kids, sir. But, but I said, uh, do you have another hygienist that can try? So she said, yes, Uma, Uma, I'm going to see Uma on June 7th. And I'm thinking, okay, boom, we're third, right? Boom, we're third, season. So I got to the point. I said, that girl, if I had to say that, I would, I would say to you, this time, to the dead, so it's time to do the third. This is it. This is it. Cash and chips. I can see the obituary. Man dies with his pick by his picking me to his chair. No matter what. But anyway, so I've been recuperating since then. Look at my mouth. Luckily, no cavities, anything's fine. But uh, yeah, yeah. Now I know what you're going to do. All right, everybody, have a nice day. They knows we ain't talk sports today, which is a refreshing change. But we will soon because, uh, you know, the Super Bowl will be coming next week, so I'll have some thoughts on that. Tomorrow, you need to tune in tomorrow to the show. Every Wednesday, I've said we're going to talk about a TV show. We've talked about the hillbillies. We've talked about blue makers. And you have to tune in tomorrow find out which old TV show we're going to talk about tomorrow. And I kind of have an idea which one I'm working, but it's going to be fun. So tune in tomorrow. In the meantime, have a nice day. Take care. See you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, maybe you not log to the games too. Right. Hi. See you guys later. Uh, there you go. Bye.